I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue with my fingerboard geometry series. We'll cover second inversion triads from the second string, as well as a complete six string review. First, we'll look at some fingerings, and then we'll do some exercises. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. All right, now it's time for second inversion arpeggios from the second string. Second inversion, again, means that the lowest sounding note in this arpeggio is the fifth. If my fifth is going to be fingered on the second string, that means my root will fall on the first string. Let's do the root A. Here's A, and here's its fifth E. Let's turn this into an A major arpeggio. So here's fifth, root, and major third. So this is our shape for a major arpeggio. If I'd like to make this minor, all I need to do is lower the third. Fifth, root, and there's my flat third C natural. So this is A minor. And now I can make this A minor arpeggio diminished by simply lowering the fifth. So here's E flat, my diminished fifth, A my root, and C natural, my minor third. So this is our diminished arpeggio in second inversion. Okay, right out of the gate, we're going to do a cumulative six string review of second inversion arpeggios. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you've watched my videos for second inversion arpeggios from the sixth, fifth, fourth, and third string. We'll be doing the C harmonized scale starting on the sixth string and then working through all the string sets. From the sixth string, we can start on the one chord C. That's our arpeggio. When we move to the fifth string, we'll still be in the key of C, but we'll start on the F chord. This will be an F major chord in the key of C. When we move on to the fourth string, we will start on a B diminished arpeggio. This is the seven chord in the key of C. When we move on to the third string, we will start on an E minor arpeggio. This is the three chord in the key of C. And finally, on the last string set, starting from the second string, we'll start our arpeggios from the sixth chord, A minor. It looks like this. Right now I'll do a couple of exercises from the PDF that goes along with this video. In the first exercise I will perform, we will be doing the harmonized G flat scale from the second string in second inversion, and our starting arpeggio will be the one chord G flat. So the arpeggio looks like this. Then we'll go on to the two chord, A flat minor, etc. Here we go.
In this next exercise, we'll be doing a complete six string review in the key of G. So we'll be playing the G harmonized scale from each string set. And I've decided to start on open strings where possible. So the first arpeggio we'll be starting on is an A minor using open string here. So after completing arpeggios on this string set, we'll move on to the next string set starting on the fifth string and our starting arpeggio will be a D arpeggio in second inversion again. And next, starting from the fourth string, we'll have a G arpeggio in second inversion. After completing arpeggios from this string set, we will continue on to a the arpeggios from the third string and our starting arpeggio will be a C in second inversion. And then finally, from the second string, our starting arpeggio will be an F sharp diminished. Here we go. That's it for second inversion arpeggios from the second string. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon. Thank you.